Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to discuss about career aggregation in LTE. Okay, so uh, we'll discuss this CA in three parts. That is your uh, UE capability and SL addition and SL activation. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, let me tell you why we need this career aggregation in LTE. Okay, uh, using career aggregation, uh, we can uh, aggregate the multiple careers. Okay, and uh, with means aggregated careers, uh, higher throughputs can be achieved. Okay, so this is the main reason why we introduced this career aggregation in LTE. Okay, so uh, to understand this term in better way, let us consider a network where uh, career aggregation is not deployed so far. Okay, so this is my E node B and it is having only one cell. Okay, this is E node B, only one cell it is having. Okay, let's say I'm mentioning this cell here. Okay, this is our cell. Okay, and suppose. Uh, our UE is located here. This is our UE. Okay. And this UE is listening to this cell one on a career. This is one career only. Okay. So this career could be of 1.4 megahertz, 3 megahertz, 5, 10. 15 20 megahertz okay so on this career this ue and this cell are mm, uh, sharing the information you can say okay this is a case when uh, no ca is introduced in your network now suppose uh, ca is introduced okay so in that case this cell there will be there will be another cell okay which is known as secondary cell secondary cell okay the same in node b will support multi cells okay so this will be a secondary cell okay now the cell means uh, this this will be known as primary cell okay this is primary cell and this is secondary cell in case of ca Okay, so uh, now will you will listen to this career also. Okay, so at at the same time, you is listening to two component careers. So let's say this component career is of twenty megahertz. This one, and this is also of twenty megahertz. Okay. So <clears throat> now <clears throat> the total bandwidth uh, between UE and E node B is of 40 megahertz with CA. Without CA, the bandwidth was around uh, 20 megahertz, right? It's when there is no CA. And we know the role of bandwidth uh, in throughput. If you have more bandwidth, then your throughput will be more. You can visit my uh, previous tutorials that I have made on throughput for more detail. Okay, so <clears throat> the first question uh, in your mind that, uh, that could come that uh, how many maximum careers a UE can listen? Okay, so uh, so far uh, uh, means, uh, means there in a network there can be maximum five component carriers uh, that UE can listen. And one more thing, uh, when CA is introduced, this career is known as PCC. PCC stands for primary component carrier. And this career is known as, uh, <clears throat> this career is known as secondary component carrier. SCC we call it. Okay. And so, uh, as I said, uh, there could be total five component carriers that UE can listen. So suppose uh, 
maximum component carriers uh, our ue and our network are supporting maximum that is five component carriers okay so in that case one component carrier will be of primary component carrier and other four component carriers will be of secondary component carrier and in that case our e node b will support five cells okay one will be your primary cell and other four will be your secondary cells okay so that's the first thing uh, another thing is second thing that you should know that uh, that primary cell is responsible for all the signaling part okay signaling part is all the responsibility related to signaling like rrc nas uh, will be handled by primary cell okay the third thing that you should know about ca that uh, primary cell add or adds or deletes you can say deletes or removes whatever you want to say adds or deletes the s cell okay this is also the responsibility of primary cell okay so in some in some vendors uh, what they do means uh, at the time of you attach they add the secondary cell okay and in some vendors uh, supports like this means on the basis of requirement they add the uh, secondary cell and is uh, actually what happens is uh, you will share the measurement report and when primary cell found when primary cell finds that uh, the that the ue needs uh, means ue is getting better signal coverage from uh, other secondary cells in that case it will initiate the add procedure this will be, we will cover uh, in detail in upcoming lectures okay and fourth thing that you should know that uh, primary cell activates or deactivates deactivates s cell okay so after adding its responsibility of primary cell whether to activate or deactivate the secondary cell okay so you can say primary cell uh, will always be uh, available or you can say will always remain there okay and primary cell uh, will be changed uh, in case of handovers only whereas uh, secondary cell uh, can be deleted or added okay on the basis on the basis of requirement okay so let's move ahead one more thing uh, you can see that uh, here we have aggregated the carriers right this is the primary cell component carrier this is the secondary cell okay you can say this is s cell 1 okay so in similar way uh, s cell 2 would be available okay so it will also uh, provide its carrier secondary component carrier this could also be of 20 megahertz okay so as i said there could be maximum uh five component carriers right five component carriers maximum that you can listen okay this is a means standard you can say okay so if all component carriers are of 20 megahertz okay so the bandwidth available at the site will be of 100 megahertz now you can imagine means with 100 megahertz means throughput value will be means uh, quite high okay so this is how we aggregated the component carriers these component carriers primary secondary or you can say scc1 scc2 and we are achieving uh, higher throughputs okay fine okay that's all uh, for this lecture uh, we'll cover ue capability in another lecture okay thank you